Hey YouTube, it's your girl Fat Jones for you. And in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about the weather element version 3. is a weather widget for your lock screen. So let's get started. I kind of reviewed this a little bit but I want to go into detail because a couple of people are having a problem setting up the weather. Uh, pretty much is uh, a weather widget for your lock screen if you tap it. And some magic happening. Uh, it, it usually will change in the morning, night, or whatever kind of weather you have. Well, tonight you see it's clear. And I also have it where you have it where you can use this. If you can see this in this corner, mail notification. And I'm going to show you guys how to set that up as well as everything. So. Okay. Is letting me know that I have exactly two mails. So anytime you get a mail, it'll let you know. And uh, once you set it up for the, the mail uh, notifier. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to set this awesome weather widget up. But I'm going to use my iPad because the iPad is going to show in more details for display purposes only. Please do not try this on your iPad because. Uh, it will not work. And another thing, if you have iOS 4, it doesn't work because a couple of people was complaining that it was kind of laggy and that when you want to change your city and state, it wouldn't update. Okay, so I'm going to use iFile if you feel comfortable using uh, SSH. That's more so. So I'm going to iFile. I'm already at VAR. And I'm going to say stash, because stash is where your themes are. Go down to themes. And we're going to look for the weather element, version 3. Okay, here you go. I'm going to go into private. And I'm going to go all the way up to configureme.js. And you guys are going to do this probably on your iPhone, your, well, your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or you would like, because this is my iPad Touch is version 3.1.3, so anything about the 3.1s or, or under, it'll probably work on. You're going to hit Edit at the top, and you're not probably going to have enough room, so kind of hit Done and bring yourself up because the iPad is bigger. This is for display purposes only. Okay, you're going to come down. It says VAR. I'll zoom in a little bit. It says VAR zip city and the quotations you're going to change you're going to change to your your zip code to whatever city and state that you live in so I'm just going to just make one up and say three now once you do that scroll down if you want the status notifier that's for your mail if you want that to show up then instead of saying false, you'll change that to true. Go above the little symbol. We will say true for that. Okay. And then you go down a little bit lower down to when you says set to false if you prefer Fahrenheit which I do prefer Fahrenheit, so if it's uh, 74 degrees, 74 degrees. So VAR is Celsius. I'm going to change that to false instead of true. Above this symbol, before this symbol. So I'm going to say false. Okay, now once you do that, you hit done. You hit save. And you hit done. Then once you come out, you hit your respring button, or if you want to do your SP settings, you can hit respring. Once it respring, your information will change, and you can activate it up in winterboard. You can go weather out, and you can click it on the winterboard. Now, I'm going to show you really quick because I know you guys are going to ask. This. It's going to work on an iPad. It is not, but I'm going to show you what is going to happen when you do it on the iPad. This little area. This is your weather element version 3 on the iPad. Okay? 
and moves around. It actually works, but it's, see how small it is? I can touch it. I can type it again, and it will show you a six-day forecast. But I can't slide up here. I still will have to slide with my slider. So you see how tiny that is. So <laughs> I think I'll let you guys know and let you guys see what it exactly what it looks like. Watch how you change your weather widget and and how it works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I catch you guys in the next chapter. Later.